here we have me uh, going to make some uh, Kazuma shirts. If I don't trip over every single cable lying around. So yeah, I've got a a uh, inkjet sticky sheet, and I've made one already. As you can see what I'm doing is basically hand cutting out a stencil. And uh, anything I've got to watch out for is the putting the A the centre of the A's back in. Uh, yep, just going to do that, and then ironing it. And I've already made one. Um, not too bad for my first try. Um, there's a bit of overspill in spaces, places. Uh, it's all right at normal viewing distance. I should get the next one a bit crisper. Um, now that I've figured out uh, what the paper stencil can tolerate in the way of putting paint on it. Because this is about five passes with white ink to really get it nice and crisp against the red because the red just soaks it all in. So what I really have to do is use the use the hair dryer in between to get it really nice and dry and put, maybe put on maybe three heavy coats instead of five light coats and that should uh, get it a bit crisper. But yeah, so I feel like summer. I'm anticipating a nice hot summer because we didn't really have one last year, which was stink. So I went down to the uh, second hand shop and bought a whole heap of just um, no branded t shirts in red and lots of other colours. And I'm going to make a whole heap of my own t shirts, which is a shitload better than. Uh, Paying thirty dollars a pop at JJ's or whoever for sort of random prints. Yeah, I plan on making a whole heap of wipeout t-shirts. I'm making a Fizar and a Quirex and an AG Systems and Aracon and Piranha. That'd be really fun. So yeah, if you see a uh, dude walking down the street, the Kazuma shirt, it's probably me. Maybe I see the I put a very light. Just sort of the uh, overcoat of uh, gold on the crown there, just to give it a bit more interest. So yeah, stenciling, fun. Yeah, hey. I'll make a couple of these before it's too late. So, okay, right. so it's day two, and I tried out my new technique of actually ironing on the inkjet sticky transfer before I started painting and man what an amazing difference it made this is so sharp look at that that you couldn't get much better with a proper screen printing rig that yeah compared to my first attempt which I'm actually a little bit annoyed at because I actually ended up using the best quality t-shirt I found on it compared to this one which I didn't iron on the transfer just stuck it down as best as I could because I was initially a little scared if I did iron it on all the adhesive would turn to turn to muck and just ruin the fabric but you can see it's not quite as crisp oh well they only cost me five dollars I can just make more as I find good ones at the second hand shop yeah, so that's the uh, inkjet labels. Uh, you can get them at New Zealand at Stationery Warehouse. They're about 20, 20 bucks for a pack of 20. Um, impact brand. Uh, if you can't get Impact brand, you're just going to have to do some experimenting to see whether your particular brand uh, will cope with heat. So you just uh, get your design. You know, I'm living dangerously with paintbrushes and catch you anyway. <laughs> so get your design, cut it out. Yep. Shark cat. That's the backing. So cut it out, peel it off very carefully, especially around your uh, around your littering. Make sure to save your islands. Make sure to save your islands of your of your eggs, for example. Stick those back on. 
iron it, iron, click on your transfer, iron it for 30 seconds, come back, paint it. This, uh, to do white on red, that's about four or five coats. So, yep, you got, do your coat, iron it for 30 seconds, do another coat, iron it for 30 seconds, keep going until you've reached the level of opacity you want, and then set it finally, iron it for a good three minutes, time yourself, don't just eyeball it, time and so that should be wash fast and you have a beautiful t-shirt for next to nothing so yeah and really at five dollars a pop for the t-shirt and probably less than two dollars of materials to make the stencil and paint it on you can then it doesn't matter if you only get three wears out of them just make another one so yeah, yeah I'll bring it around and dug up some, uh, some other logos to do Got the old school marathon logo. Gonna try and do a yellow on black. That will require a few coats. Gonna do a LucasArts. It's a symbol from the original Homeworld game. Um, yeah, it's a modern wallfire. It's kind of cool. Old school infograms before they rebranded themselves as Atari. Old school. Ah, oh Jesus. I just still don't know how to pronounce this. Saigonus. The company that made the old school wipeout game. And oh my. Make myself a Wipeout 2007 logo shirt, and I plan to make myself an entire entire range of old school Wipeout logos. I've got all the generations here. I plan to basically do second generation, although I might do maybe the third or fourth or fifth generation Quarix. Um, I do really like the fifth generation Aracom. Or in perhaps the uh, fires are more than the uh, second generation. But yeah. Second generation piranha. So yeah, I found a whole heap of other coloured shirts to do these, so that'll keep me really, really busy. I'm surprised uh, Sony never ever made any yeah, of these t shirts for regular sale. I was kind of dumb. Anyway. I hope that's inspired you to maybe do some uh, your own t-shirts. Uh, that's me, Master Gravitron, signing out.